For today's video, I am doing my July favorites roundup. I can't believe it's already August. I feel like the summer has gone by so fast, but I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that Marco and I were traveling quite a bit. So very excited for August to be a very dormant season, chill, laid back, not really going anywhere. Excited for the next few weeks to be a little bit quieter, a little bit more calm. We've been doing a lot of stuff around the house, purging, reorganizing, donating things. So just a good transitional period from summer into fall. Anyways, we're just going to get straight into the video. But if you're new here, my name is Alyssa Lenore. Any of these kinds of luxury fashion related videos as well as vlogs. So if you like the vibe here, please hit that subscribe button as well as the notifications bell so that you know I post new videos. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to share with you guys is actually going to be a little unboxing. It is not a bag, so don't get too excited. But I will say this is pretty much my last summer purchase for the year. I try to make it a point to not shop for summer anymore once August hits. And as I'm recording this, it is August 3rd. I got these last week with Cassie and Rebecca when we took her out for Rebecca's birthday. And I really wanted some shoes that were... Actually, I'm just gonna show you. I don't know why I'm talking about it before I even open it. But I really wanted some sandals that were a little bit dressier. So these are the Julia's. I talked about this in like two videos ago. I wanted some sandals that weren't Oran's. And these are the Julia's and I think they're so pretty. I have worn, I tend to wear my Oran's to the ground. So I wanted something that was a little bit nicer but not a fully enclosed shoe and so this is the latest purchase i also got marco izmir sandals just so that he has something nice to wear that aren't birkenstocks but still in the summer this is it for summer pieces as of two days ago i've been in full fall mode so a lot of the editing that we've been doing at home in terms of pieces and clothing and donations and like giving away to family it's me also taking inventory of what I have, what I need, what I don't need. So it's a great time to do that for this month that we're not really doing too much. That is the first thing for my July favorites. Um, even though obviously I haven't worn them out yet, they're so beautiful and just needed to include these before I started to go into fall stuff. This might be repetitive if you watch the video of me doing a little summer haul, but just for maybe like two of these pieces. But these are Chanel sunglasses that I picked up in Miami, and they are the two-tone square sunglasses. And I just really love the Chanel detail and also the two-tone effect that you get with just the top part and over here, all the way down the arm. And then I like the little low-key logo. So these, I want to say, are kind of like an in-between my YSL Betty sunglasses and the Mika. Mika's are a little bit more cat eye, whereas the Betty's are a little bit more straight and rectangular. And this has a very slight cat eye to them. These are currently sold out online, but I will have a link to the page because it does have the reference number in case you want to send it to your sales associate and you're looking for them. They also have these in a butterfly shape which is what Marco's sister-in-law got, where it's a little bit more rounded and a little bit bigger. So if you need sunglasses that are a little bit bigger, that's a great go-to. There's also a couple of different colors for these as well. But, but really happy with this purchase. It was my first Chanel purchase in a very long time. And this is the case. Kind of bulky. I don't really like to bring this along. I just have a very slim, thin one that can also double as a cleaner, so... For my bags, I tend to swap out of these bigger ones. Next is going to be a bag, and this is something that I actually picked up two months ago. This is the Row Park Tote in the medium size. Kind of wish that I got this in a navy color, but it's so beautiful, so well made. The leather quality is amazing. They have this in a couple of different colors and sizes as well. If you don't like the vertical format, they have one that's just like a regular tote bag as well. The row bags are so well made and they're so beautiful. Very simple design, very, very functional. So I easily traveled with this. It's nice to just kind of grab and go, use for errands. I just like the way that it can easily go under the arm and again, super comfortable. And I knew that when I was traveling to Korea and Philippines, I wanted a tote bag, but most of my totes are fairly large. I really love this one. Again, for reference, I am about 5'6", and I really love this size. You've seen it before. 
but this is my Bottega Arco basket bag and I fell in love with this when it first came out. I have always loved the design of the Arco but I didn't have a need for any of those regular leather ones at the time and when I saw this one it was on my list because I thought it was such a chic simple bag but also very if you know you know so I really like that this one came with an additional leather pouch and the details on it are so pretty and I just love that it's not like a full basket or raffia bag but it does have good quality leather bits to it and it's a great bag that I can easily wear you know to the beach to the city in the summer also definitely a great bag to bring along if I were to like summer in Europe never been me but great summer in Europe bag that's pretty much it I feel like I'm being very repetitive because I did just share this two videos ago so yeah this is her and I think Mark and I can squeeze in one last beach trip before summer ends so that I can easily bring her out to another beach destination but I have been wearing her in the city a lot so very happy to have added this to my collection and just have a more summery variety. Another bag that I was looking at was the Celine Triomphe but it's so stiff and was so expensive for what it was and it just didn't make sense to me. I have been like looking at other summery bags that aren't just strictly beach totes like the Prada Raffia but I wanted something that was summery but still had a very I don't know how to explain it like something that was still very much so still a handbag and I think that Bottega did it really well with this one in my opinion I just really love this one next up I'm going to be talking about Dish because I feel like I've been wearing them a lot this summer their pieces have been really easy to style and I felt very comfortable in them, runs true to size, so I highly recommend checking out Dish if you are shopping around for more summer pieces. Their linens are very great quality, really love them, as well as their sets. And it's literally like been my repeat pieces for the summer, from the city to the beach, Miami. It's been so good and comfortable to wear, and I've also gotten so many compliments, especially on like the crochet pieces, the linen pieces. So highly recommend if you are still shopping around for summer stuff, keep an eye on Dish because I feel like some of their pieces might start going on sale since a new season is coming in. And you can also shop my outfits on LTK if you are interested in looking for a full look. Next thing I want to mention is Ring Concierge, and I have had this bracelet for a while now and I would include it in all of my favorites videos if I could. I recently did a giveaway with them and they were so blown away by the response to it and people's comments because I made it a requirement to just share something that you're really proud of. They gave me a code so you can use the code AL20 for 20% off. This code should be active for another like two weeks so definitely utilize it while you still can. I'll confirm the expiration date on that but I really love my mini tennis bracelet. It is just such a beautiful piece to wear every single day and yeah I just love it so much. Just want to say thank you to Ring Concierge. This is not sponsored by them. I just wanted to share it with you all in case you guys have missed the code. So definitely check them out if you are eyeing something from Ring Concierge. Next we are moving on to beauty products. And of course, I have started to dive into my Korean beauty skincare. I did a haul after the Korea vlog, but I can't find the one that I've already opened. But this is the Beauty of Joseon uh, sunscreen, and this is the one that I put on my face and my body. This is what I brought with me to Miami. Not a single sunburn. And then I also have the sun stick. This is what I reapply when I'm out and about during the day. Over my makeup, goes on fine but really love these two. And I think they are available on Amazon to order. Obviously the pricing is just different compared to when I got these in Korea, but I love it so much that I would restock on it. And then another one I wanted to mention is the Torden Lip Essence. This is a great balm. So this is one of the things that I was recommended. Really love this one and I really hope I don't lose it because I tend to lose my lip balms. Next up, we're going to go over some books. So two books that I wanted to mention for my favorites is going to be Spanish Love Deception. Um, I'll just include a graphic of it. I don't know why I brought my Kindle over here. But Spanish Love Deception and The American Roommate Experiment. Both books are by Elena Armas and they not necessarily are sequels, but 
there's a character overlap. Highly recommend you read Spanish Love Deception first and then American Roommate because it just makes more sense that way. They're spicy novels, okay? Let me just get that out there. But it's a very slow burn. It's good build up. If you enjoyed like the Colleen Hoover books, this takes it up a slight notch. I read through them pretty fast. They're good, quick, easy reads. Those are the two books that I wanted to recommend for this month. I know I haven't done this before, but I really need to highlight two K-dramas that I watched this month as I was decompressing from my travels in Asia. First one is The Celebrity. This one is more of a revenge plot. I think also being in social media and it being based on social media, I was very intrigued by it. I don't want to dive in too much, but all you need to know is social media, good fashion, revenge plot, and I'm going to leave it at that. You can read the Netflix description if you are more intrigued. But if your cup of tea is a little bit more rom-com, highly recommend King the Land. By the time you're watching this, all of the episodes are up, so that's why I wanted to include it. But it is a very cute, lighthearted rom-com. You have an antagonist for sure, but it's not such a heavy, like, plot line. It's not like Penthouse, where I'm stressed every single episode. It's mostly light and funny, which is what Marco likes for his K-dramas. So those are the two that I'm highlighting for this month. And that is it for my July favorites. I know it's pretty chill, I want to say. I'm honestly like still decompressing from the travels of this year. Nevertheless, I am already planning trips for 2024. So very excited. Hopefully, fingers crossed, things happen. But that is all for me. And once again, thank you all so much for your love and support as always. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. I don't need this no more. I don't need to stay. Finna walk out that door. My mistake giving you love, girl, Lord.